So in the aftermath of the fall of FTX, uh, the criminal conviction of Sam Bankman-Fried, the crypto space is breathing a collective sigh of relief. So we've got a lot of bad actors, especially those who really had no intention to add any value to the space in the first place. They're being ushered out. Now there's hope that, uh, for resumed growth and acceptance. My next guest happens to be at the forefront of this. I want to bring in Strike CEO Jack Maulers. And Jack, I, I, you know, a lot of my audience is not familiar with you. So let me just start a little bit about your background, your website, because it starts with Better Money, the global money app for fast, safe payments and Bitcoin. How does that work? What's going on, Charles? Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> you too. Uh, yeah, so I think we're the furthest thing from crypto and a lot of uh, what you introduced me as. Uh, we focus on Bitcoin and I know that sounds maybe oversimplified, but we think Bitcoin as a technology has so much utility that needs to be commercialized. Like it is innovative tech at the end of the day. That's why it's so cool and such a big deal. And so we focus a lot less on the speculative gambling, big APY percentages in your face like other crypto platforms. And we're a money app, like a Venmo for the world that's built on top of Bitcoin. Because we think if we can give Bitcoin to 8 billion people, we're going to economically empower planet Earth. Are you guys based in America? Yeah, we have a headquarters here in America. We have a headquarters out in El Salvador. So we operate both services in the United States and outside of the United States. It's really core to our mission. I think Bitcoin's arguably more important to those outside of the country I was born in than within. Yeah, well, I can tell you right now, the El Salvador story is fantastic. We'll, we can talk about that another day. We've had some guests on about that. Uh, I want to broaden this out, too, but before I do, you talk about uh, getting it out, getting, getting you know, everyone in the world to be able to use it. Also on your site, you talk about buy, sell, hold the, the, uh, with ease. How do you make this happen? Like, what's the distinct advantage that you have in making this happen uh, uh, beyond your competitors? So, Charles, Bitcoin, like I said, as a technology, is so dense and so disruptive. For example, people often don't know that you can actually move Bitcoin in less than a second and for free. But you don't know that because a business like Coinbase doesn't actually support it. They support thousands mm -hmm. of other crypto tokens and try and get you yield on USDC. Uh, and so our advantage is we focus strictly on Bitcoin and making it innovative and actually valuable to users. So we offer faster, cheaper cross-border payments. We offer you really ease of use in acquiring the asset, custodying it, moving it. It's a, a purely Bitcoin focus. And so we uniquely, as a Bitcoin-only business that focuses as a money app instead of an exchange, I think offer buying Bitcoin now as of today to billions of people, which may be the most in the world for Bitcoin-only, Bitcoin-focused, Lightning Network enabled. So what do you see? What's the, what's the future, the near-term and the longer-term future that you envision for Bitcoin? Oh, my gosh. Uh, this thing's going to hundreds of thousands of dollars per coin, Charles. I mean, the U.S. government is in so much debt. The way I think about Bitcoin's price, Bitcoin's price equals technology plus fiat liquidity. So it's going to go up because it's innovative tech and it's better money. But what really shoots it up at a neck breaking pace is uh, when our government is tens of trillions of dollars in debt and has to roll that debt over. So they got a lot of money to print and financial assets are going to soar. And Bitcoin goes up the most because it's the hardest to make more of. It's over, man. This thing's going to the moon. You know, so interesting, too, because it's not just the U.S. I was just reading today, globally, uh, the, the, these countries, these advanced nations and all this fiat currency are going to have to spend $2 trillion on the interest alone, and they won't stop spending, Jack. They just won't stop spending money, and it's coming back to haunt them, and it's coming back to maybe people realizing fiat currency is not the place to be, huh? Charles, this would be my message to America. Give me a second on this one. Guys, the U.S. government's got about $10 trillion over the next two years to roll over refinance. That's debt. Our country's in debt. It's a huge problem. They got three options. One, they could pay it back. It's not a real option because we don't got the money. We're broke. Two, our government could come out, Charles, and say, you know what, guys? We screwed up. After World War II, we changed the way money worked. We got off the gold standard. We issued debt all over the place. We got way too cocky. And actually, all of our banks don't have your money. They're insolvent. All the airlines you fly and travel on aren't actually good businesses that should be in business. Healthcare shouldn't actually be free. We screwed up. We piled on so much debt and screwed up the younger generation, right. and we're in huge trouble. So right. we're going to have to let everything fail and reset this country. Now, they're not going to do that, are they, Charles? They have third option, which is unique to the government. They could print the money that they're missing. And when they print the money that they're missing, they're stealing from all the people that hold U.S. dollars. And so what they'll right. do, they'll have to do is print dollars. And the only way to save yourself is own not dollars. And that's when you see things like the S&P 500 and all gold right. and Bitcoin <laughs> soar. 
And so that's what's going to happen over the next two years. They got to print three times more than they did during I, COVID. I charge. love your enthusiasm, Jack. We're going to bring you back. I really, we really do love your enthusiasm right, and your message. Thanks a lot for sharing it with us. Right. Thanks a lot. Cheers, honey. All right, buddy.